Well, hello and welcome to number seven in my series on uh, circle theorem. Now, this exercise here is very nearly uh, in the boundary of A A star uh, grade in GCSE and IGCSE. So it's a it's a high tier question and also suitable for tenth grade maths in the USA. Right. What we've got is a circle. That's all that's given to us there. Now the 2z and the 2y and the y's are not given to us. I've just put that in myself. Now I, I shall explain why. So we now got the points a, b, d, e, a. Okay. Right. Now we can solve this by two methods. We can solve it, certainly solve it by what's given to what we already uh, know or given to us by the question itself. Or we could create a, a cyclic polylateral if you join D to E and E to A, that gives us a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, that's the second method which I'll explain in my next slide. Now, what we then have is that this angle, which I've called a 2y there, and this angle is subtended at the center by the arc AED. Now, the same arc AED subtends the angle ABD. At the circumference, and that angle is y because the angle at the circum at the center is always double at the angle at the circumference. So angle A B D is now y degrees. Now we know that the angles on the straight line add up to 180 degrees. So this plus that gives us 180 degrees. And that's what we got there. Right. If we now double the left hand side, we must also double the right hand side. So if we double that, we get 2 into y plus x. And when you expand the bracket, you have 2y plus 2x, and that's give us 360 degrees there. Right. Meanwhile, we know that the angles at the point or the angles uh, in a circle will be equal to 360, which means that 2z plus 2y will give us 360 degrees there. Which then means that uh, 2y plus 2z from there is equal to 2y plus 2x from there. It's because they're both equal to 360 degrees. If we then subtract 2y from both sides, from each of the sides, we then have the 2y's will then cancel out. We end up with 2z is equal to 2x. And that's what you're supposed to prove. Hope that makes some sense. Now, for the second method, which you don't, you don't have to do, second method. Now, for the second method. Now, for this method, we start from where we ended in the last slide. Now, all we've done here is to create a, a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, D, E. Now, note that for that to be a cyclic quadrilateral, all the four points must lie on the circle. So, A, B, D, and E lie on the circle there. Okay? Now, the other thing to note here is because we've now created this cyclic quadrilateral, this angle there, okay, this angle there, uh, subtended at the center by the major arc ABD, as we saw in the last slide, so this angle is 2z. Now, if that's 2z, this major arc subtends the angle AED at the circumference. So angle AED will now be Z degrees. So this angle is now Z degrees there. Now ABDE being a cyclic quadrilateral, the two opposite angles add up to 180, as we know already. So Y plus Z will give us uh, 180 degrees. Okay, and for a straight line as from the last slide, y plus x is equal to 180 degrees because that's a straight line there. The sum of the angles on a straight line add up to one, one, 180 degrees. So that's 180 degrees. Which then means that uh, y plus z, that and that, which is 180, is equal to y plus x, which is also 180 degrees. So now if we subtract y from uh, both sides, we find that y's, the y's will cancel out, which then means that z is equal to x. 
So if z is equal to x, if you now double z to get 2z, you also double x. So 2z, which is this reflex angle there, is equal to 2x. And that's also true. Okay, I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.